nothing in there anymore. Oh, look on the wall. There is a map of the USSR. Let's go inside and have a look. How fascinating. Listen, I have to leave Belarus in a couple of days, which means I have time for one final video from the country. And I thought to myself, what would I like to do for the last video? And I had a lot of ideas. But the truth is, there is only one video that I ever could make. I wouldn't have forgiven myself, and maybe some of you wouldn't have forgiven me either if I didn't. And that is to go back into the forest and look for my mate and your mate, the legend of the forest himself, Collier. I've come to the supermarket to, um, to buy Collier some stuff. Now, it's hard to know what to buy him because what can he cook? He's not got an oven really. He's just got some wood-fired stove. So I don't know. I mean, I should be buying him some, some healthy organic vegetables and things, but is that what Collier wants? I think we know what Collier wants really. And it's not vegetables. What you're thinking is, bald, should you be encouraging Collier to drink? And I suppose not really. But you've got to ask yourself this question. If you lived in a village, no internet, no electricity, your friends have died, passed on, nothing to do, you live in darkness, what are you going to do? How are you going to distract yourself? And I'm predicting you do what I do and what Collie would do. And that is have a few drinks to take your mind off things. I really should be sponsored by Wild Hunt. Do you reckon Collie's ever had any Pringles in his life? Let's get him some Pringles. Gotta be paprika, right? This is a map of the zone north of Vietka. It says up here, attention. Vnimania, warning. And then here is Vietka, if you can see it here. And then all this here is all irradiated. This is where the road that I'm on, the P30, is passing through. And up here, around about here, is where old um, Collier lives. <laughs> Hey, let's, um, let's do something naughty before we leave Belarus. There's a sign back there saying forbidden down this road, but I'm fascinated to know what might be down it. So um, obviously there was a village here once before. Let's see what's down this irradiated road. Oh, well, there's the first thing, an abandoned house in the forest, completely destroyed. Normally the brick houses were government buildings in the forest there, there's all destroyed stuff. And the wooden houses, well they were people's houses. So the brick buildings would have been post offices and libraries and dom culturis, houses of culture. All right, let's carry on down here, let's see what's down here. God knows where it leads to. And hopefully we don't get caught. I don't know what would be worse, a Belarusian prison or the radiation that I'm taking in as I drive down here. Maybe a Belarusian prison. You can see how nature's growing back across the road, trying to reclaim it. Grass popping up outside, out of the concrete. So pretty. Reminds me a little bit of England. So green and lush. Oh, there's something here. There's something here. Old houses. Well, someone's living here. 
This is the strange thing about the Vetka forest in the zone here, that although it's irradiated and you saw that it's forbidden to come down this road, someone's living here. Look, they've been tilling their garden. Tota doma! I never expected to actually find something. These must be the few last remnants of the village. This house obviously has been completely destroyed and abandoned, this old wooden house. Nothing in there anymore. Oh look, on the wall there is a map of the USSR. Let's go inside and have a look. How fascinating. says up there map the USSR SSSR and these are all the different animals that you found in different parts of the USSR bears down in the Altai bears down on Lake Baikal moose here we've got tigers in Uzuria Uzuri land bears elk wow this map has been here since well a long long time put it that way These houses seem lived in. There's definitely people living in these houses, right? They're not destroyed. So here it says number 30 on this house here. So we know that there were at least 30 houses here before and over here is some kind of abandoned government building. Maybe it was a shop before or something, a village shop. Now, of course, nothing. We're in the village that obviously has people living here, but look, on the tree here, radiation. Not allowed to be here. So some people just decided not to move. They knocked down the house of the people who left. And those who decided to stay on, stayed on. Hmm. Let's carry on. Yes. Well, we've come to the path that I thought last time I couldn't drive. Let's see. Let's see what happens this time. Seems all right. Looks sandy in the beginning, but it gets better. I think I'll manage. Poor old Collie, having to walk all that way last time, eh? Hey, up. Oh. Who's that I see in the distance? Is that Collier? Is it? Collier! Привет, еще раз. Вы помните мне? А, вот. А, да, как дела? А, потиху. Па, что случилось? Что хорошо? Да вот, голова болит. Ой, что случилось? Скажи. Ну. А, пьян? Да. Сейчас? Не. А, хорошо. Ну это хорошо. Похмел вы имеете в виду? Да, похмелил. А, ну я принесил вам что-то. Я принесил вас что-то, да? Хорошо? Хорошо, давайте. Я паркировать буду, потом я вернусь. Дай мне минуточку, я парк. Хорошо? Нема. Да, есть, не, не волнуйтесь. Я вернусь через минуточку, хорошо? Как я сказал? Он сказал, что у него был ужасный 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 the roast chicken and bloody, um, what are those Pringles that I bought him? Oh, Collier, are you here? 
А, подарок есть маленький. Ну, что-то кушать, что-то выпить чуть-чуть. А это, большое спасибо. И знаете что, Коля? Я сказал, мои друзья, про вы. Ну. И все хотел знать про вы, что вы все хорошо. Они, я говорил, что вы живете один в лесу. Они сказали, ну, купить ли я ему что-то, блин? Ну, как нет? Понимаете? Они хотел знать, что все хорошо с вами. Да, правильно. Да. Ну, рад, что вы еще живой и все хорошо. Да. Слава Богу, Господи, это хоть что войны нету. Bloody hell, Collie, you're hardcore. Collie, don't mess about with the old vodka. Straight down. No oh, vodka. Страшнее всего. Ты закрывай. Ну, уютно место. Уютно. Я, я люблю спокойствие. Никогда никого не трогаю. И вот, честно скажу, ну, соображаюсь же сам. Вот. У меня, если нема, я никогда не полезу кому на огород. Попрошел человека, а брать, ну, как говорится, сноровка такая уже у человека. Что это? А я-то за чего подвешивал? Мыши. Мыши есть, есть? Да. Да, господи. Коли is saying that he has mice in the house. That's why he lifts all his stuff up in the air on hooks. See all the food or whatever he's got here is all out the way because mice attack it. Я думаю, что много людей завидует вы. Потому что вы живете здесь. Ну, спокойствие здесь, спокойно. Правильно. Никто не трогает. Правильно. Правда, что у вас нету света, у вас нету телевизора, у вас нету, ну, я не знаю. Но все равно, я думаю, что в вашей душе вы спокойнее. Правильно? Совершенно верно. Ей Богу правду. Хорошо, да. хорошо. Счастливо вам. Спасибо. О. Ну вот. Раз герой не сходится, а человек с человеком сходится. Не понял, ну хорошо. Раз герой не сходится, а человек с человеком сходится. А Бог его знает. Бог его не знает. А вдруг устрелится. Бывает. Давай тогда. Спасибо, удачи вам. Вам счастливо. Дорога. Спасибо. Спасибо, удачи, Коля. That was Collier. I've said goodbye to him. My journey is finally over. God, I've been bitten to death here. <laughs> oh.